Hi everyone, welcome back. You think you are getting enough omega-3? You are likely deficient in omega-3. I have been reviewing my patient's labs lately and there is one deficiency showing up over and over. Low omega-3 levels, even in young children and teenagers. And why this matters a lot? Because omega-3 is essential fatty acids. And what does it mean? That means your body cannot make them. You must get them from food or supplements. Omega-3 isn't just what heart physicians prescribe for heart health and high cholesterol only. It's a critical for fighting inflammation, for gut health and healing. It's repairing your intestinal lining, for brain function, for memory, mood, focus, mental clarity, for immune balance especially for people with autoimmune conditions, for cancer prevention and treatment, and also for hormone production, for people like having thyroid issues or sex hormones or cortisol regulations. And it's essential for heart health. It's reducing clotting, lowering trigelists, and also very important and critical for cell membrane integrity, where each single cell need omega-3. The question is, why you are deficient even if you are eating fish or taking supplements? Here is what goes wrong. Number one, not eating enough of the right fish. And remember, it should be wild, not farmed. Number two, poor quality supplements like oxidized or low absorption or contaminated with mercury or heavy metals. And number three, not taking enough. The doses needed are higher than you think. Number four, gut issues prevent absorption, like leaky gut or inflammation. And number five, high omega-6 intakes, like in vegetable oils or processed food, those compete with omega-3. What the right sources of omega-3? Food sources best is wild, caught, fatty fish, not farmed like salmon, sardines, mackerel, anchovies, herring. And our goal to be two to three servings per week as minimum. For vegetarians, they can use algae or algae-based omega-3 supplements that contains APA and DHA directly. What about plant sources as flexus seeds, chia seed, pumpkin seed, or walnuts? even vegetarians, why they cannot depend on them. They are great and amazing for health, but not as a source for omega-3, because they have ALA form that needs to convert to EPA and DHA form. And why we cannot depend on that as a source for uh, omega-3, because only five to 10% of people can convert ALA to EPA and DHA so that ALA cannot be enough for therapeutic benefits. What about omega-3 supplements? If you are supplementing, quality matters. You need to look for, number one, omega-3 fatty acids in monogelastrides form or phospholipid form for better absorption. And number two, high EPA and DHA, 2,000 to 3,000 milligram combined for therapeutic effects. Number three, third party tested for purity, no heavy metals, no mercury, no oxidation. And number four, fresh, shouldn't smell fishy or rancid. Cheap omega-3 can do more harm than good. Always discuss with your doctor before making any changes. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.